some of y'all are looking at me and saying, well, I don't even see why you would work out, Linnea. You look like you've been working out already. I know, right? <laughs> but this is all natural. This is just deep. Now, I used to have a rocking body back in the 70s. I looked like Chuck and Todd. I had the hair, I had the body. It was all going on, but I was buck wild. And I think the Lord put the weight on me. Hollywood ready or whatever like this. <laughs> so um, he got me anyway. I, I kept a little journal of this incident that he had bought me something, a, a membership, and I kept a diary for the first week that I went to this gym. So I want to read from the diary to y'all about how my first experience, my first week went, okay? All right. Dear diary, for my birthday this year, my manager over there purchased a week of personal training at a local health club for me. Although I'm still in great shape since being a high school football cheerleader which I would. I decided it would be a good idea to give it a try. So I called the club, I made my reservation with a personal trainer named Dexter St. John. He identified himself as a 26-year-old Jamaican aerobics instructor and model for athletic clothing and swim. <laughs> Him. So my manager seemed pleased with my enthusiasm to get started, and the club encouraged me to keep a diary to chart my progress, okay? So Monday, right? Started my day at 6 a.m. Tough to get out of bed, but found it was well worth it when I arrived at the health club to find Dexter <laughs> waiting for me. He's something of a Greek god with dreadlocks and dancing hazel eyes, and a dazzling white smile. Woo! <laughs> Next, he gave me a tour and showed me the machines, and I enjoyed watching the skillful way in which he conducted his aerobics class after my workout. Very inspired. Next, it was encouraging as I did my sit-ups. Although my gut was already aching from holding it in the whole time he was around. <laughs> this is a fantastic week. Tuesday. I drank a whole pot of coffee, but I finally made it out the door. Dexter made me lie on my back and push a heavy iron bar into the air, then he put weights on it. My legs were a little wobbly on the treadmill, but I made the full mile. His rewarding smile made it all worthwhile. It was great. It's a whole new life for me. Ooh. Wednesday. <laughs> The only way I can brush my teeth is by laying the toothbrush on the counter and moving my head. <laughs> I believe I have a hernia in both my pectorals. Driving was okay as long as I didn't try to steer or stop. I parked on top of a geo in the club parking lot. Dexter was impatient with me, insisting that my screams bothered the other club members. His voice was a little too perky for me that time in the morning, too. When he scolds me, he gets this nasally whine that's really annoying, you know? My chest hurt when I got off the treadmill, so Dexter put me on the stair monster. Why the heck would anyone invent a machine to stimulate an activity rendered obsolete by elevators? Dexter told me it would help me get in shape and enjoy life, and he said some other crap, too. Thursday. 
The demon was waiting for me with his vampire-like teeth.
folks in credit card debt because we all got limits on our credit card. I got one credit card, go to 250, and that's it. I'll be balling when my other credit card go to 500. I'm glad I made it big. Uh, $500 limit? And if I find out I got $7, if I, if I got $400, I'm spending that other $7. Okay, I want this dumb and put it on my card. Put it on my card. I'm using mean, all five hundreds. All five hundred dollars. Okay, you know, okay, so as a comedian, we travel, we travel around. And, you know, sometimes we stay in great five-star hotels, we eat wonderful food, and, you know, we have, you know, wonderful shows. And sometimes you do other kind of shows. You know, right now it's a recession. We're not getting the money that we used to get, and we have to do, we're, actually, some of us are back on the, what they call the children's search, right? <laughs> so recently I did this uh, show, well, some old casino somewhere out in the boondock, and I didn't gamble though. <laughs> 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 and uh, the hotel, like, sometimes you know that you're in trouble. Like, you know that you're in trouble. You can tell the caliber of the hotel by like the size of the bath soap in the room. <laughs> I recently stayed in a hotel and the bath soap was this big. This is the bath soap. Now you don't have to be a rocket scientist. <laughs> Like black folks and white 
black folks having a barbecue, right? Okay, so black folks traditionally get up, cook the food. The barbecue start at what? One o'clock. That's what time the barbecue start. When we get there, we want to eat. We don't want to wait. We want to get there. We want to eat. We want to start drinking. We want to play card dominoes, have a fight, and go home. That's the way it goes. That's the way we roll. You know it. You go to your white friend's house and barbecue. You don't smell nothing. Around the steak. 